हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गॉन टॉक अबाउट मार्पोल एन एक्स सिक्स टुडे आई विल गिव यू द ओवरऑल आइडिया ऑफ अ मार्पोल एन एक्स सिक्स इन टुडे वीडियो आई विल टेल यू द हाईलाइट्स ऑफ द मार्पोल एन एक्स सिक्स आफ्टर वॉचिंग द वीडियो यू विल हैव अ आइडिया ऑफ ओवरऑल हाउ द मार्पोल सिक्स वर्क आफ्टर दैट वन बाई वन आई विल अपलोडिंग all the major thing with the amendment and the rules and regulation of all the highlights in the upcoming video so please tune till last i guarantee after watching the today video you will have a clear concept that why the marpol 6 was brought into the picture so basically in 1997 in 1997 the marpol nx6 was first brought into the picture it was brought into the picture because of the air pollutants what are the air pollutants the air pollutants were sox nox and the ozone depleting substance so these are the major pollutant which led to the development of marpol annex 6 followed by it, the amendment the major amendment which were done in the marpol annex 6 was in 2005 followed by 2008 and followed by 2010 so these are the major amendment which were done in the marpol annex 6 now if anybody asks you why and when the marpol amendment are done and who do so basically the marpol amendment is been done by the mepc committee marine environmental protection committee amend the annex 6 and when they will amend they will amend when they feel that there is a requirement to strengthen the emission limit and when they will feel that there is a technical technological improvement is been there and we need to improvise that into the shipping line at that time the mepc will act and will do the amendment from time to time followed by as you know because of this marpol annex 6 the atmospheric environment is been now in safe hand because when there were no marpol annex 6 the environment was impact heavily not only the human health particularly also the people which are living in the cities and coastal community were also affected so in order to improve the overall response this marpol annex 6 was brought into the picture the major highlights of the marpol annex 6 is ozone depleting substances nox sox incinerator fuel ability and exi cii and edi as you know this ozone depleting substances nox and sox are source pollutants which are affecting the environment followed by the incinerator which emit the gas when we are burning the sludge or the racks in the incinerator followed by the fuel oil sulfur percentage and the technical improvement is been improvised in the exi cii and edi so the highlights of the ns6 is these things ozone depleting substance so basically the ozone is present in the stratosphere which help to reflect back the uv ray the ozone is been depleted by certain gases which led to the uv ray to come directly on the earth and causing skin cancer and skin related diseases so therefore the marpol annex 6 prevent the use of such gas followed by the nitrogen oxide nox and sox which is causing respiratory problem and causing the acid rain and also affecting the agriculture environment so the for that the nox and sox was bring inside the annex 6 to regulate their emission follow by the volatile organic compound whenever we are doing the loading and discharging at that time the gas are emitted into the atmosphere this also need to be regulated so the volatile organic compound regulation brought into the annex 6 now in the ship we are burning the oily rags we are burning the sludge these are also emitting certain gases in order to regulate the emission the incinerator regulation is brought into the picture so as you now know 
that why this all things is been being inside the annex 6 now let's see major amendment which are done in marpur annex 6 so this is the sulfur cap and this is the nox cap so as you know in sulfur 2005 there were two cap brought one was global one was eca eca is a emission control area in emission control area from 19 may 2005 the 1.50 percentage in the sulfur fuel should be used in the emission control area it means that whenever you are going in the emission control area your fuel percentage the sulfur fuel percentage should be less than 1.50 Five zero, and if you are going around globally your fuel oil percentage should be 4.50 in the fuel after that it was further reduced in 2012 in global and it was brought to 3.50 first then 2012 whereas in the emission control area in 2010 a new regulation was adopted and the sulfur percentage was further reduced from 1.5 to 1 percentage followed by in 2020 the recent IMO sulfur cap 2020 the global sulfur cap was reduced drastically from 3.50 to 0 0.50 which is called now VLSFO very low sulfur fuel oil is been now globally used followed by the change which are done in the emission control area after 1st Jan 2010 to 1st Jan 15 the sulfur percentage was reduced to one from 1 to 0.1 so it means in emission control area you have to use LSMGO type of fuel or other fuel which are much more cleaner than that like LNG LPG like that so as you can see the annex 6 is driving the shipping line by controlling the SOX emission in such a way so that it led to the greener revolution or improvement in technology to reduce the sulfur emission. Now in NOX also there was three tier development was done. In tier 1 from 1st Jan 2010 all the new ship need to follow the tier 1 regulation of NOX emission. From 1st Jan 2011, all the ship need to follow tier 2 NOx emission. And from 1st Jan 2016, the tier 3 NOx emission was brought into picture. So as you can see, the tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 is been implemented phase wise to reduce the NOx percentage with the over a period development in technology is been done. So, let's now talk about what are the certificates in the Marpool Annex 6. The important certificates is first IAPP certificate, which has been given if you are complying with the Annex 6 regulation. And it should be retained on board and renewal is on 5 yearly basis. EIAPP certificate, Engine International Air Pollution Prevention Certificate. This is been given if your engine is complying with the Annex 6 regulation like SOX and NOX emission. Followed by the type approval certificate which has been given if your insulator is complying with the Annex 6 rules and regulation of emission. Followed by the exhaust gas cleaning system if it has been there on board is complying with the Annex 6 rules and regulations. So these are the major certificates which are in Marpol Annex 6. Now as you know the my Marpol is implementing more stringent rule why because they want to regulate the NOx and SOx emission and hence we are progressively reducing the global emission so that we can lead to a cleaner environment so friend in today's video we have learned that why the Marpol Annex 6 was brought into the picture and what are the substance which are affecting the atmosphere and how the Marpol Annex 6 is tackling. So basically the whole idea of bringing the Marpol Annex 6 is that it is reducing all the major gases in phase wise manner 
so that it does not affect the shipping industry but also it reduces the emission so we as soon as we are developing technically it is putting a stringent rules and regulation so that we can now comply and we can reduce the emission so therefore the amendment is done on timely basis to sticking the regulation as compared to the technical improvement friends if you like the video please to subscribe please to share and if you want to join the membership and have directly contact with me then please join the membership thank you friends